Okay, hi, good afternoon everyone. Yeah, we come back again in the uh, Bisa online uh, this week. Yeah, hopefully uh, all of you is uh, good. Uh, today we have a uh, traveler from Bali, um, Martini and the gang. Yeah, I will I will bring them to uh, the group panelists. So uh, we can start first. Hi, Mbak Tini and Mbak Nati. Mbak Ayu, <laughs> how are you? Oh, still in, still in the. Okay, I will bring them as a panelist. Yeah, so sorry. Okay, this one panelist. Okay, uh, hopefully can. Hello, Stephanus. Ah, thank you for the thank time. Thank you. Yeah, we can also using this as a, uh, our recording, yeah, <laughs> to promoting uh, All right. our uh, network in Singapore. No problem. So, how are you now in Bali? I'm good. Thank you. Uh, the weather is really nice. Yeah, it's a bit hot actually. <laughs> a bit hot, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In Singapore, we are very busy this week because our Indonesian president and uh, some minister from Indonesia they have a meeting with the uh, Singapore leader, Mr. Lee Kuan, uh, Lee, Lee Hsien Loong, and all the 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 minister also in Singapore. So uh, a lot of things within this week, yeah. So we can uh, share about the our uh, topic today. Uh, yeah, the participant is not really a lot, but we can start as uh, using our uh, platform. So uh, in Bali, I know I go to Bali two months ago. Uh, there's many uh, difference from the several time I go to Bali. A lot of tourists in Bali now, especially after pandemic. And before pandemic, the tourist is lesser and lesser, but uh, now hopefully can grow itself. So we are still waiting some of our uh, guests to come. And maybe I will ask you to introduce about the travel learn. <coughs> All right. I'll keep this with the moment. Maybe. Okay. Um, it is okay if I do in off camera. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, actually, uh, I want to introduce Alexa first before we introduce Traveler because I want to sh share why we build this Traveler Indonesia. Okay. You want to okay. present in your presentation or? Or I can, I can. Um, maybe I will share in my presentation. Okay, can. Okay, okay can. <coughs> so you can share now. If you cannot share, I will give you as a co-host. Uh, okay. Oh, I still cannot share. Oh, you cannot share. Okay. Okay, you can share now. Okay, can? Yeah, uh, my screen is uh, visible. Yes, we can see your screen. All right, so everyone have to join uh, this event. Good afternoon, and also Mr. Stephanus and my team. So before we, before I introduce about the traveler, I want to share a story about Alexa. So Alexa is a blogger, podcaster, and someone who loves to travel and learn new experience. But she realized that her traveling activity has produced carbon footprint that impact the global. 
by the transport to use, the goods, the food and beverage that she consume, and also the activity and the accommodation that she use. And she realized this is will give a bad impact to the environment, as well as uh, the same thing happened in Bali. Well, in Bali now, there's a, we can say that Bali now has a mass tourism, where the impact is there's so many land use chains that from rice field become hotels, villas, and many more. And also there's so many tourists that getting wild, like maybe you have seen in the social media where the tourists getting wild in the road. There are so many illegal business that can take over the chance of Balinese people to keep their local wisdom. So we are as a young generation and also as well as Alexa, worried that Balinese local wisdom will extinct one day. And we realize that we need to be a responsible tourist to do, uh, like to prevent this thing to happen in the future. And based on the data, we found that uh, the minimum traveler come to Bali each year is around 1 billion and 500,000 and 53% want to be a responsible traveler. Therefore, we found that we have a big opportunity to invite everybody to join us as a responsible tourism a tourist, and that's why we built this Traveler Indonesia. And now we want to invite you to discovering Bali authentic local wisdom through responsible journey. And this is us. We are a regenerative tour operator that commit to protecting the earth, empowering local communities, and preserving the local wisdom of Balinese life. And we have a variety of programs that we collaborate with local communities that share the same vision to develop sustainable Bali tourism by preserving local culture and wisdom. We have a vision to be an eco-travel agency of international standard based on education and local knowledge and supporting the realization of sustainable tourism by 2030. And the mission, we should do collaboration and empowerment of the local people as tour guides so they can be independent and creating local wisdom as an eco-friendly educational travel package and market the travel package to digital platform and in collaborate with agencies, hotels, and many marketing platforms, and also offer a carbon compensation service through mangrove plantation to against the climate change. And for now, our team there uh, consists of two persons. The founder is Nimade Ayunate Widyarini. Uh, maybe you can call her Nati and me myself. My name is Nina Ariastini and I'm the co-founder. So like I said before, we have a variety of programs and activities in this uh, Travel in Indonesia. And I will explain to you one by one. The first one, this is traditional Balinese coconut wine tasting and brewery. And this, uh, this activity located in the Karangasam where the places, uh, one of the places in Bali that still has so many culture that they keep it just the way they are. And this is one of them. And this is uh, one of traditional uh, Balinese drink that we call arak as well. And in here, you can see the process of how to make arak. And you can taste the fresh uh, base ingredients and also taste the uh, finish one, the finished product. And also you can visit the traditional house of the farmer uh, where you can see their traditional house is really different. Like many, uh, maybe you places that you visited, like the famous uh, places in Ubud, like uh, in Puri Ubud like that, it's different. This place is located in the mountain 
and you can all you can see is like a green environment and really really relaxing places <clears throat> and the next one is young artist painting workshop this one is located in ubud um, you can see in here you can learn about how to paint the young artist style this style is actually uh, has been a really uh, i mean like uh, really in ubud style uh, you can see in here is a really typically the ubud lifestyle in the past and you will get it by the local painter where you can learn from the basic you don't need to worry that you don't have any basic in painting. In here, you will learn by the basic. And also, you can have fun as well because this is like a healing time for you. Uh, we will do this activity in the painter house that also feel like a real Ubud environment. And you will joy, uh, feel the joy uh, over there. The next one, we have healing tea blending and testing workshop. This one is also located in Ubud, where owner, uh, owning by the local people, Balinese people, they have uh, like uh, preserving the local people so they can, uh, all the ingredients is come from the local people there, from the community of mother, uh, in here we have uh, we can learn about herbal tea that from a tisan specialist and also join the natural garden tour that managed also by the local people and you can uh, blend and taste your own tea and in here you also can bring home your own tea and you can consult uh, with the tea specialist what is uh, if you have any health problem And this one is a sport tourism that you can join. Uh, have fun on the moon. Yeah, this one is a really fun activity. Mapantigan actually like uh, you have a fight uh, on the moon. And uh, not only fight, you also have many games. You can join that uh, with many people and also local people that are uh, uh, trained by the owner. Uh, like the hard light in here, you can learn about the martial art technique in combined with traditional dance. You will also learn about traditional dance. They come from Bali and also Papua. And enjoy the fun in the mud and taste the unique local food. Uh, Mapantigan has uh, like a specialist food that you can, draw, uh, you can taste it only in the Mapantigan place. In the next one, we have a natural incense and offering making workshop. This is actually the lead, actually the really interesting activity because you can learn how to make the herbal incense, uh, where incense is uh, really meaningful for us in Bali. Uh, incense has so many purposes, being meditation and also relaxing as well. In here, uh, you will make uh, natural incense and Balinese offering that are uh, guided by the local also. And also learn about the purpose of it. And this one is Maluka Ceremony. It's Balinese Holy Water Blazing. In here, uh, you, can learn, uh, you can join the Malukat and what is the meaning actually of the Malukat activity? and you will guide it by the local people that has been trained. So you will do the malukat with the right step. And here you can feel the relax and get healed at the same time because you have like uh, maybe more than seven steps that you will get uh, poured by the holy water. And you can pray and uh, hope uh, for what, uh, wishing for what you were wishing before and this one is Boresauna healthy package 
In here, you can learn about Balinese traditional scrap. It's called bore. Bore is actually made from the herbs that were planted in Bali, uh, like ginger, and also there are many uh, herbs that uh, are planted in Bali. And you can enjoy the traditional sauna, that uh, really traditional sauna. Maybe later I will show you the video as well. It's uh, And also Balinese massage test by local people. And after that, you will get frozen your body and mind. And this one is the mangrove tour. And here you, uh, we will invite you to uh, tour touring around the mangrove places in Bali, where mangrove tour, you can do it by canoe or by boat. And you will get it by the local fishermen because we work with the local uh, fishermen and learn more about mangrove and also taste the product that made with mangrove. And uh, this one is uh, our activities of against climate change. We have mangrove plantation. When in here, you can join the mangrove plantation and also be part of against climate change and learn more about mangrove tree because we, you will get a uh, explanation from the mangrove expert that come from the fisherman community. Uh, besides these activities, we also have a special request. Uh, we also can uh, make a community or corporate gathering that we will help you to make your gathering in a different way, like in, in, in a new way and in new places that you will never know. Like, not in the hotel like that but like in the garden and in the natural place and uh, you also ha can have fun with workshop first and then do fun games that will make your relationship with your company get stronger <laughs> and also we have educational group tour uh, you can join ed educational regenerative tour, regenerative tour. Uh, we want to invite everybody, start from the students, to learn to be a responsible tourist and responsible people when they visit our places. So in here, we will give you and in, uh, invite you to go to the sustainable places and more to the local communities and learn about the Bali authentic local wisdom and visit new places and new activities around Bali. And so we have customized programs. If you have any reference and uh, you want to learn about something, we will help you to find that sustainable activity and also mix and match your own itinerary because we want to suit your taste and enjoy the authentic experience that will uh, give you your style like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, um, a little bit have a problem with my throat. So from all of uh, the activities, our highlight of the tour <laughs> are uh, as the travel, we want to invite everyone to experience the way of life of Bali through workshop. Not only will you experience the beauty of the island, but you will also support local community and preserve their nature. And beside the travel, you will also learn <laughs> by participating in unique and educational activities, such as workshop on making natural <laughs> incense and offering, and also traditional Balinese, uh, traditional wine. <laughs> and as well as painting workshop. And also, you not only get the impact, but also will give impact to the people. By choosing Travel in Indonesia, you support a responsible and sustainable tour operator that run by all female Balinese team. And your dollars directly benefit local communities and help preserve their culture and wisdom. <laughs> uh, 
And here we will share our value that we will support regenerative tourism, support local community, support local product, and also carbon offsetting program. And here we also support their product. And when whenever we join the market, like a travel fair or like that, we will also bring our partner product to show the product and where they can find this product. So we will we want to market their uh, the local community product so they will get encouraged to produce more uh, of their product because this product is really sustainable and also have a uh, impact uh, as well from the health and also from the environment. And for the carbon offsetting program, every tour you book include three mangrove trees. So we will plant the mangrove tree uh, in the name of your name, or maybe you have uh, another option. And we will plant it and also give the monitoring result to you, uh, maybe like the three months, uh, every three months. <laughs> and this is our partner one of our partner, uh, her name is Miss Made or Ibu Made, the owner of Made Tea. So we met them <laughs> during the corona uh, where we learn a lot about uh, sustainable business from her. She's really uh, a hero that really make uh, the farmer life like uh, really increasing by uh, produce the money tea. And this one as well, our partner, Mrs. Komang, the owner of Incense Making Workshop, where uh, Ibu Komang really concerned about the uh, uh, environment. So she wants to make a sustainable business and calm this natural incense, where now uh, she also make more because they, uh, there are so many people that realize that this natural incense, natural product is important. Uh, this is some of our guests, uh, the testimony from our guests. All right, I think that's all. Maybe I will share you uh, one more about the video. I think some uh, people that just joined didn't see the video. Keep this yeah, we're waiting the video. So uh, for all of you, if you have any question, you can uh, raise hand. We can have an interactive discussion. We will allow you to, to speak uh, in Bahasa also can or in English also can. If you want to have a planning visit Bali with this wonderful team in Bali, how to uh, embrace the community in local community, not only just uh, you have a fun in the tourism, but you also can uh, make impact to the local society in Bali. And the other thing also, because now uh, you can see this one, the video first. Okay, this is the video of our some of our uh, previous activity. This one is the Malukat activity. Yeah, this is the last step of the Malukat actually. And this is the painting workshop. You will learn by the local guide and learn uh, how to paint from the basic. This is the Mopantigan activity. It's really fun that you can play on the mod without uh, afraid of being dirty. This is the gathering. Uh, we do this gathering in Madeti. And this one is the uh, Boreh Sauna Halti package. You can see how the process of making Boreh as well. And this is the tea blending workshop.
Now, this is for the educational tour that they learn about how to make sustainable business and also about the, the herbal tea and how to make it. Maybe you can right. uh, uh, play again with the sound. Uh, Tini, just now, no sound. Uh, oh, all right. Please wait one more. I think there is one, one more time with the sound. Okay, one more time. The sound, I think, uh, share soundnya di nyalain. In okay. The, uh, in the Zoom. Share, share sound in the Zoom. Please wait a moment. Where is the setting for uh, the sound? In the more, usually in the more. More. Or in the. Or I will, I will play. Okay. Is there. Yeah, from, from, from the beginning. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, thank you, yeah, for sharing. So now, if we have any, uh, you have any question, you can ask to Tini or to Nati uh, about the the Balinese uh, sharing session for today. I have a question for for you, yeah. Uh, yes, sure. What is the challenge for you as a new? Startup lah, we we can call this startup. How to educate the the tourists, yeah? Because you know, in Bali, a lot of tourists from overseas. Mm -hmm. Even uh, some when I came to Bali two months ago, there's a lot of angmo uh, from uh, Russia, from Australia, from UK, from anywhere. They using a motorcycle. Uh, very dangerous, you know. Uh, they don't have yes, yes, you... helmet. They even sometimes they they only using the the short. Uh, only even some of them they didn't anything. Just just almost naked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've seen it. <laughs> so, so what do you think as a local in Bali? <laughs> yeah, I think that's one. Uh, nowadays, the tourists. Uh, really that getting wild I think uh, they do do everything without the procedure I think because uh, before there no social media so no there's no many people know about that but nowadays uh, because their social media they were get many critics uh, from netizen and that's why I think the government take action and that's one of the challenges that because this is like a new theme for tour operator, uh, we want to share our value more. That's the challenge that we should uh, overcome for now. And we have joined some market uh, 
that some there are many tourists came like in Sanur and also in Ubud. Uh, there we introduced about the traveler, really, really uh, explain about our value, about our, our activities and the impact of our tour for the local people and the local community and also our purpose uh, in the future. We explained that to the tourists that came and stopped by our booth and there are many many tourists that get interest uh, in this kind of tour or activities but i think we need to spread more information by joining like this kind of seminar also also uh, share that in social media and uh, notice there are many people that get interest and in asking for the tour for uh, this kind of activity i think that's one of the the challenge that we need to do uh need to uh solve like that yeah it's the challenge itself is uh bringing our value to the market mm -hmm. all right yeah this is a challenge i think not only for the local community so the tourists itself when they come to the bali also they need to understand uh, how to respect the local wisdom, how to respect the community, because they come from overseas to come to Indonesia in Bali to re in enjoy, relax. But of course, some culture in Indonesia in Bali needs to protect, right? Uh, especially yes, for sure. young people uh, like you and and the, the next generation. So uh, we still waiting some others to uh, asking the question uh maybe i will also ask you uh, regarding mm -hmm. the uh usually what kind of tourists uh, currently now in bali from which country you you can you can share uh, uh do you mean like uh where come where they come from that majority mm. Mm. yeah i think that many come from russia as well russia and ukraine because before i have worked in uh, like uh uh Bali Bird Park, if you know, like mm. there's so many people that come from Russia and also from the Ukraine that they spend more like a, a month, two months in Bali that they love to live in Bali as well. And also from the from German, there are many tourists that come from German and also Australia, but they have a different kind of uh, character. I think characteristic their characteristic is di really different mm. and they have uh, different behavior like we should choose which one is our target market as well not all the tourists get interest in this kind of activity and mm. that's our challenge also we have to def uh, divide the tourists which one should we approach first and we don't want that uh, business in Bali get dominated by a foreign that that's really uh uh like uh what's it that's bad for the young generation later that's why we want to start here by uh, there's some there are many uh young generation that made the uh, local business and sustainable business as well that's why we have uh, many collaboration with them and uh we want to spread the information. There are so many local business that are owned by the Balinese people that you can help them and encourage them uh, so they will get more. Uh, they not give up for the future. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tini, they have uh, one question from Pak Leonard Slamet. How many days normally for your tour package? Okay, for our tour package, normally we have uh, it's a one day one activities, but we also have like a two days and also three days activities that we can customize if you want. Like uh, we will set up the itinerary that in the customized program, we can help you have the activities up to seven days, seven days and six nights, and also five days and four nights. And you can also join the daily activities like that. One day, one activity. Pak Selamat, this is uh, answer your question. 
basically this oh, one can customize ya yeah. can customize yeah we get we really want to uh, make the activities really suit the guests so because this is like a new activity i think not everyone familiar with this kind of activity so we want to make a customized with other activities so it based on what they like and what they want to do in bali okay the the other question from pak selamat pak leona selamat is okay. so is it including accommodation or not uh, we have we have the package that including the accommodation if you prefer but the accommodation is based on your preference like you want like a two star hotel or the eco accommodation like that or the five star we will arrange that if you want include the accommodation mm. okay uh and and i have a question yeah in mm. bali now uh when i came to bali last time uh two months ago uh in changu and ubud right very popular so uh in your activities usually you you recommend the activities near the place uh, where the tourists stay right because the traffic jam in bali also quite challenging now yeah it's really challenging this day <laughs> yeah but we usually uh, near the it's based on the person or the guest if you want to go to in bali uh, in the ubud area we will recommend like the activities in Ubud area that near maybe like uh, in the uh, nearest village or nearest city and also the accommodation as well and uh, I think there one question more from uh, Pak Leonard Slamat no, uh, in, in say, yeah. <laughs> yeah actually we will work together with uh, tourism village with Desa Wisata and uh, we want to make like a uh, living in the village like that for me maybe like three days you can live in the people house and feel their life like uh how's the life like uh start in the morning how they do their job like the how did they how do uh in the farm uh, in the rice field like that as a farmer or as a fisherman like that we will we still arrange uh, for the village uh, stay like that. Mm. So Paslamat, you can bring your Indonesian community in Singapore, go to Bali, stay in homestay. Uh, 10 days at least, uh, if yep. below 10 days is not enough. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to uh, feel the real Bali, you have to, yeah, you have to long stay in Bali. <laughs> yeah, must long stay. Uh, Tini, uh, how how much the cost yeah for uh, for uh, usually yeah in in, mm -hmm. in one your package yeah for let's mm -hmm. say for uh, usually in Singapore yeah they they go from uh, Friday mm -hmm. and they, they come back maybe next week uh, or sometimes they very tightening yeah tight, uh, tightening mm -hmm. the, the the timing Friday go back in Monday. For yeah. four days, three night is what is your recommendation? Oh, for four days, uh, we uh for four days we actually have the five days. It start from uh nine billion rupiah, but it's uh it depend also from what the the request of the guests like the stay if they want uh, to stay in the like a homestay the local people in the village it can get lower than the nine billion. Okay, usually Asia people in Singapore they prefer in hotel, mm. but for the foreigner from uh, overseas like uh, Europe, they 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 like in homestay, homestay yeah. or in villa, yeah, villa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, so, like that. Okay, we uh, we we're still waiting some other question. Uh, thank you, Pak Leonard, or uh, for your question. Yeah. Uh, until we're waiting uh, some question, I we I have another question for uh, for all of you. If you have experience go to Bali, please give a come some comment in the chat and in the screen. Actually, they have a contact point 
uh, contact from prevalent so you can whatsapp uh, nati or you can whatsapp tini uh, to ask him because sometime in the short uh, one hour presentation is not enough they want to ask more so you also can come to the instagram ya yeah, instagram travellearn.indonesia hmm. and the website travellearnindonesia.com or you can also email to travellearnindonesia at gmail hmm. at gmail uh, the other question is the what is the the best month to visit bali I think the best month uh, to visiting Bali is like uh, if when there's ceremony in Bali. Like now uh, in the March, we will have Nyepi. Like it's the biggest ceremony in Bali that you can feel the... There's so many, usually for the other uh, hotel or like that, they have so many uh, like uh, discount like that there's, uh, because they're high, high demand. But in Bali also you can feel uh in Yepi like that you can feel like the real feel the authentic of Bali if you come in the ceremony uh, mm. season and also we have a Galungan day it's usually like six months once in six months it's different it uh, the month is different and for this year is in on August and there also I think uh, the the end of holy decision here in Bali so I think that's not really crowded on the road and not really many people like uh, on the holy decision maybe on July on our January and December to January and this is the why this is the best season because you can see the ceremony itself not only uh, through like uh, symbol symbol like that but also see how how's the ceremony running and yeah it's but for the nyepi as uh for the nyepi itself always on march march but uh galungan and kuningan day it's different uh every year yeah better is the come in bali actually every month is okay go to bali Yeah. But if you want to go to Bali more experience uh, about the the traditional uh, feel in Bali, of course you can come to the like Kuningan, uh, the Hari Galungan or Hari Nyepi is quite uh, good experience. I also haven't go to the Nyepi yeah because some of yeah. my friends go to Nyepi. You go to the place, uh, no light, no. Yeah. Electricity, no electricity. On, yeah, just quiet in one day. Yeah, one day. Yeah, one day. It's really day quiet, only. and uh, there are no people that go out their house. And when on the night, it's the star really beautiful, <laughs> and yeah. really calming. This one like cleansing the body, the mind, and the the soul in the earth. Yeah, the earth also. Uh, usually people very busy in Singapore. Uh, yeah. Go to Hong Kong also very very busy. <laughs> But go to Bali, yeah, you can enjoy the beach. Uh, Bali is near the city, beautiful city. A uh, lot of field, yeah. Uh, yeah. There is many many uh, experience. When I saw the traveling just now, it's a lot of experience. I also want to go to Bali again, but Leonard. Next time we can go together. Okay. okay. Just Any call other... us. <laughs> uh, if if you if we don't have any question, uh, I will ask uh, Tini and uh, Nati to give a closing statement for uh, your uh, what is your hope in the after the the pandemic yeah? uh, because yeah. Bali when the pandemic coming a lot of hotel suffering uh, a lot of Uh, local people also don't have to tourists, but now hopefully uh, with this kind of the the uh, you know the discovering the authentic of Bali, they have a mm-hmm. uh, more resistance yeah when yeah when people experience we don't know yeah in the future yeah. another another sure. disaster. So mm-hmm. what is your your closing statement? 
All right. So uh, we want, we hope in the future that everybody realize that that tourism not only about luxurious thing and also about the five star hotel. You can also living like just the way you are. So we can focus in our village as a farmer as a uh this work in our local environment like that so we want to make everyone realize that we can survive in every condition if we can preserving our local wisdom and for the last quote that all we always bring everywhere whenever you travel wherever you travel Remember to always respect nature, culture, and your house. Thank you. I think that's all from me. And thank you for everyone who have joined this event. And also Pak Stefanus and Pak Leonard Slamet. Thank you for the question. And I think that's all from me. I still mute, Pak. Okay. Thank you, Tini and Nepi. Yeah. Actually, this one the good starting to uh, promoting this uh, this Bali new Bali yeah, basically new uh, environment and especially new idea for the travel learn. I like your your quote just now. Uh, in Indonesia bahasa we also have uh, di mana bumi dipijak di situ uh, orang itu harus langit dijunjung. <laughs> ya, langit dijunjung ya. Yeah. Itu the same ya. When yes. you are travel, uh, you travel wherever you travel. Remember to always respect nature, culture, and and your house. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for the you are busy schedule. So we will close the visa online this week. So you can check uh, our next event in the www.meetup.com slash visa kita. Uh, we have an uh, online meeting and we also have an uh, offline meeting, either in Singapore or either in, in outside Singapore. Okay, salam diaspora buat semua. Uh, see you and yeah. keep healthy and bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye.